Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of CBTV. My name is Carlos and I'm here with David Dakin, owner of Coralview. How are you, Dave? Doing well, Carlos. How are you today? I'm doing well. So today we're actually Good. covering something very important is the yep. RODI booster pump kit. Yep. A clean, healthy tank starts with clean, oh, clean water, filtered water. Yeah. Think of it as yep. you expect a good dish of a, a good food. You expect mm -hmm. a good dish when you go to a restaurant. If you want a tasty meal, it starts with high quality ingredients. So yep. the first ingredient is obviously we have the salt, but the very, very first ingredient is having high quality filtered water. So yep. the best way to do and get that filter water is to ensure that your RODI unit is actually performing at its optimal, you mm -hmm. know, up. And the way to do it is by, um, um, you know, putting a booster pump. So how do I know if I don't, if I need a booster pump or not? It's mainly is, is your RODI water, is, is your RODI system too slow? Yeah. Is it producing less than what it is rated for. So um, let's talk about RODI yeah. and efficiency. Yeah, so there, there's a lot of factors, Carlos, when uh, you're talking about, you know, the the efficiency of, of your RO unit. Um, some things such as water temperature, um, the total TDS, the, the total dissolved solids in the water, um, and the pressure, the incoming pressure. I think a lot of people nowadays are facing problems from their local municipalities with pressure because they're actually regulating the, the pressure. I actually see in my local area, they go around putting these little valves, these little brass valves on the lines. So that all of these things are, are factoring into, you know, our, our RODI units and the performance that they're able to give us. Um, Temperature right now in the, in the colder winter months is, is really a, a problem because it, depending on the, the incoming water temperature, you could hardly have any output of, of the good, clean water. So these are things that uh, adding a booster pump, uh, this booster pump kit that we have that can help improve the efficiency, um, not only in, in the source water, but also uh, the longevity of your RO membrane. Mm. Okay. So now the big question is, do I need a booster pump? How do mm -hmm. I know? So a couple of things that you can see is when you're running your RDI unit is look at your water pressure. If your water pressure is between 40 and 50 PSI, it's not, it's too low. It's low. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are getting water, but it's just not enough water being filtered. In essence, you're wasting more water than you're, you're always going to be wasting more water than you're producing, but you want to keep that wastewater to, pr yeah. to product water down to them, you know, kind of as close to each other as possible. The, the lower the pressure, that difference starts to widen and widen, and that's what you have. So if your pressure is between 40 and 50, you were out of the eye membrane or out of the eye filter would benefit from a booster pump. Also, yep. if your TDS, if you have, and if you live in a municipality where the TDS are really high, maybe because of old pipes, old city pipes, unit, mm -hmm. old home, old house, you know, if it's under, if above, if it's above 500, definitely you also need a booster yep. pump. It makes it, yep. it just, it's going to increase the efficiency of that membrane and that system much better. All right. So iScap, we have a booster pump kit that comes with mm -hmm. everything you need in order to correctly and properly install a booster pump um, yep. into your membrane to grab your RDI system and upgrade it into something that is much more efficient. It includes the following. Obviously, it includes a the booster, booster pump, pump. <laughs> yep. you know, booster pump. Okay. What else, Dave? It's a, a, a low pressure switch. So this feature automatically turns off the pump when the water source is shut off. Mm. So that prevents so the, it, the, the, the booster pump from running dry and burning out basically. Oh, wow. It also includes a high pressure switch and this feature mm -hmm. shuts off the pump when the water flow stops 
inside the unit. So, you know, you kill the source or something, or yep. it usually happens when the container where you're storing the product water is full and then you have a valve or a solenoid that shuts mm -hmm. off. At that point, you don't want the booster pump to continue to try to push water when it's right. close on the other end and burning it out. What else, Dave? Yep. Uh, the power supply and wire harness to connect the booster pump and switch is easily. Try to make it that, as easy as possible for a clean installation. That's great. And so how do we install this? Let's start with installation of the booster yep. pump. So the booster pump is installed between the pre-filters. Usually mm -hmm. it's a sediment and a carbon. So right after the carbon, but before yep. the intake yep. on the RO membrane. Yeah. All right. What about the low pressure sensor, Dave? Yeah. So the low pressure switch between the carbon filter and the booster pump intake. Okay. And then you have the high pressure sense, which is installed right at the end of everything. So after yeah. the DI, that's where you put that high pressure sensor. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, um, what else, Dave? Uh, that's it. I think that we covered it. The power supply, the RO tubing. Um, so, so you connect the booster pump and pressure switches to the wire harness and yep. then make sure that you use a drip loop. So okay. please make yep. sure they use a drip loop. Okay. Prevents yep. water from getting into the electrical components. And finally, just connect the power supply yep. to an uh, GFCI power source. People, mm. GFCI <laughs> power source. Don't yep. just connect them to any AC outlet. Don't run a, an extension cord and all that. Please make it a GFCI power source. But, you know, I know we covered this really quick in here because this video yeah. is not about the installation. It's about why you need the booster pump. If you need help, feel free to reach out to our support at support.coralview.com. And one of the reps there will be able to help you usually within 24 hours. If you have any other questions, you can always head over to Facebook, to the Facebook group and ask there. There's always somebody willing to help. So with that, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.